my savior all the day long this is my story this is my soul praising my savior all the day long perfect submission perfect delight Vision so bright, now best on my side. Angel descending, bring from above. Because of mercy, be space of love. This is my praise the Lord, Hallelujah! All the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Um, this is a pastor jolly laughs so like every day this is a non-stop gospel revival praise the lord all the people can watch in the social media right now lots of countries people are watching praise the lord thank you very much in the group we are few people but in the, uh, we have sent to the nations can watch in the social medias praise the lord hallelujah thank you very much Praise the Lord. Now I am in mission trip right now. I am in North UK. Uh, Pastor Joel in uh, Birmingham, North UK. Already I finished. I could finish my preaching in uh, gospel outreach in the open air street preaching in Coventry. The day before I study, uh, today I was in Birmingham. Today is a lockdown time in India, UK. All the UK is locked down. So we have got a limited time to speak in the street. Praise it was restricted. But according to the limited time, I could preach the gospel. Praise the Lord. You can see um, that uh, in the Facebook and social medias, in the YouTube too. Thank you very much. Join with us. Birmingham is a very nice place. In future, Pastor Joel is uh, seeing in spirit a greatest revival from Birmingham, UK. I will be standing in front of the world gospel revival from not only in UK, in front of the all the nests. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when the time, time of lockdown period got over, that time I will be traveling to nation to nations. All the airports are waiting for Pastor Jolly Lasser for Shake the Nations UK. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, thank you. And today, yesterday, I got uh, lots of, the, this is a love of the people. People are loving us. When I was preaching the gospel in Coventry, people are giving 10 pounds and 5 pounds, putting my pocket. Even I have money. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because um, um, I'm preaching the gospel uh, according to my prosperity. Praise the Lord. But people are giving the love gifts uh, for the ministry. This is, uh, I was praying for that. Praise the Lord. Today, in the Birmingham, also one of the pastors, he gave the love gift for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He was so much excited. Praise the Lord. So thank you very much. All the pastors, those who are supporting our ministry, our TV ministry, and our uh, in and out in all the places. God bless you abundantly. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. We can do work together, go together, then only every day do something for God, little bit. When we are doing little bit for God, our God will do, uh, our God can put extra one or two steps for you. Praise the Lord. 100 steps, 100, 100, 100 steps for you, 100 faults. Our God can bless you. Your, uh, the effort which you are putting for God, our God can bless your effort. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is all from five loves and two fish. Um, the, that man, uh, which uh, whatever he was, they were having, that child was having, when they gave to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ took their effort and Jesus Christ was multiplied their food. Jesus Christ was giving to everybody. So, I want to say to all the people, this is a time to receive the multiplication. You have to uh, sow something, praise the Lord, some seed, that our God can multiply you. Isaac, he sowed the seed during the time of famine time. When after that, you know that our God gave the hundredfold to him, praise the Lord. All the ladies and gentlemen, do something for God, even, even if it doesn't matter, the desert situation, wilderness, this is a time we are the seed of Abraham. Walk by faith. Do something great is a thing for God. Our God will multiply. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can pray one minute time. And before that, I want to invite today's great money. We are going to hear uh, Sister Raj Lashmi uh, from 
uh, India. Praise the Lord. Um, and worshipping also, Sister Rajeshmi is leading the worship today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, we can pray to um, Sister Rajeshmi, can you please mute your, unmute your audio? Can you please say hi to the world? Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Rajrashmi from Karnataka, India. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you very much. Just have to read one Bible words. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ was here in this world to execute the plan and purpose of the Heavenly Father. What was the plan and purpose of the Heavenly Father? Praise the Lord. The purpose, first, that is what uh, Gospel John chapter 12, verses 49 uh, says, For I speak not for myself, Jesus Christ was saying, but the Father that sent me, he has given me a commandment. This commandment, Jesus Christ was always um, sharing the commandment of the Heavenly Father. Praise the Lord. What was the commandment the Heavenly Father has given to Jesus Christ? The commandment, that is, the verses 40, 50 says, and I know that his commandment uh, is life, eternal, eternal life. Praise the Lord. You should not get perished. Each and every people, those who are watching online, those who are hearing this uh, gospel message today, those who are living in this world, maybe it doesn't matter you are Christian or Muslim or Hindu or anything. Pastor Joel is not at all preaching the religion. Pastor Joel is preaching about our Savior and to get eternal life through that Jesus Christ. Praise God. This is a commandment. Those who are believing Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. You are going to get the eternal life. That's a free gift. You don't need to pay any extra single penny to get eternal life. Praise the Lord. You don't want to uh, go to any other temple. Uh, don't need to give any other sacrificial offer to the temple in front of the any, anybody. Praise the Lord. Because Jesus Christ already died for everybody one, um, only for one time. That is more than enough for us. Everybody will be getting eternal life. This is the free gift. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Raise up your hand. People are watching online, UK, Europe, African countries, North and South America, and Australia, and Asian countries. Praise the Lord. Raise up your hand today. We are, I want to pray for each one of you. Praise the Lord. During the time of this praise and worship, during the time of this word of God, last 310 days are over. Continuously, we were doing this non-stop, time, non-stop gospel revival. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. People are watching online and uh, all are getting, the, people, lots of people are saying, how Pastor Joel is getting the, this much, um, the men of God and women of God, the world pastors are joining him. Praise, I don't know how people are coming. Holy Spirit, please give me the connection. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The people are coming. Pastor Joel, can I preach in your platform? Can I get it? People, pastors are on queue right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I don't know. This is a work of the Holy Spirit. When Holy Spirit said to start this ministry, I did accordingly. I don't know anything. Yeah, day by day, we are going accordingly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So please raise up your hand. We can pray one minute to the Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, especially the people are watching your life, the people are here in this word of God. Father God, we are having the trust in you. You are mighty Lord. So that we are rejoicing always in you. You are doing always such a great and powerful thing powerful things among us. We don't know anything how it is going to happen, but you know, we know only one thing, we are putting our trust and hope in you. You will do everything uh, better uh, things in our life. Heavenly Father, your name is Miracle Lord. You are the mighty Lord. You are the miraculous. Your nature, healing is your nature. Thank you, Father. During the time of this praise and worship, during the time of this word of God and testimony, you are sending your mighty power and mighty presence throughout the nations, Father. Let all the people, let them get a touch from the Heavenly Father, a touch from the Holy Spirit. Let everybody get a reason to rejoice today and let everybody come back to the Lord and say that Jesus, this Jesus Christ is a living God and mighty Lord. Praise the Lord. Once again, more I pray for the, those who are joined in this group, those who are going to join in this group today, those who are sharing this group, um, gospel message, the social medias, YouTube, and all the places the nations are watching right now. Father, I bless each one of them, Father. Thank you for touching the so, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your stretching out your hand to each one of them, Father. Let everybody get a mighty presence from you, Holy Spirit. And you are sending your uh, healing power to each one of them. Once again, more I pray for everybody. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody want to shout and say, Amen. amen. Everybody. Pastor Jolie cannot hear, but 
Jesus Christ can hear all the nations. Shout and say amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. People are from UK, Europe, Australia. Australia, I don't know. It's um, the early morning. Praise the Lord. Canada and USA and um, African countries, India, Middle East. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Now, uh, Sister Rajneshmi is going to start the praise and worship right now. Praise the Lord. You are right, my sister. Thank you, Father God, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Father God. Thank you for this wonderful time that you have given to us, Lord. Father God, as we have get into the mood of worship and to listen to your word and a testimony as a blessing to others, we invite your Holy Spirit here right now, this moment, and we strongly believe that your presence is right here amidst us. We give you the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory and the honor. 
Oh 
control. I thank you so much Lord Jesus for everything that you have appointed for us right now. In Jesus precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you sister. Rajesh, thank you for the powerful song. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is now this is a powerful testimony. Praise the Lord. I'm going to share to the world right now. All the people you know the pastor Joel is having a testimony. When I was preaching the gospel, uh, when I start to preach the gospel in the street, I was alone. Nobody was helping me. I had a testimony. I was in the point of the death. Praise the Lord. 2013. I should not live in this world. Because I came to know Jesus Christ. Because of this reason, Pastor Jolie is still alive in this world and preaching the gospel. If anybody is saying, Pastor Jolie, what you are doing, you are such a man. I will never look at him. Because these people cannot even help me. These people cannot give us even one single penny or single single money to us in our life. Well, they can't do anything. Even though after our death, these people cannot even, even if they then come uh, near our tomb after that, they will go back to their house. This is what they can do. But, you know, that when we are getting the experience from the Holy Spirit, the love of God, you cannot, the ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, you cannot sit in your house. Praise the Lord. Every day you will do something for God because this life is a shortest in this world we are living uh, in the shortest time praise the lord maybe uh, 800 years i'm saying 100 years 170 years pastor jolly will get a long life like abraham 175 years with a healthy body praise the lord hallelujah because i have the seed of abraham i don't know your how many years you are living praise the lord hallelujah pastor jolly will see my children's children generations generation praise the lord if you want even though that is the shortest life in this world Praise the Lord. So that um, um, after our death, you know, 100 and 100 crores and cross years, we are living with Jesus Christ. We are resting in Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Live this shortest life. Our God has given you a special plan and guidance to each one of you to do at his kingdom. Praise the Lord. We are, all the people are working in the different levels. Maybe you are thinking it is your effort. It is not at all your effort. Your bank balance, your health, your um, I mean, knowledge, your brains, and your all the parts of the body is working every day. Um, it is by the grace of God in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what um, uh, everybody had to turn back to the Lord, this loving God. This is what. 
Pastor Jolly always is doing. Praise the Lord. Little bit for God. Every, I'm rejoicing. I can do a little bit for God. Everybody, uh, please do. Everybody, uh, please continue a little bit so that we can do. At least we can try to do something for God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that this is an end time salvation, end time gospel revival. Everybody do something for God. Like Apostle Paul, we can say, Apostle Paul was saying, I am preaching the gospel according to my experience. Praise the Lord. When I was when I start to preach the gospel, I could not even see any of the disciples, Apostle Paul, Peter or John or any of Philip or Andrew or Thomas, Matthew, any of the disciple. I could not meet them. The reason is I got I was closely to the church of the Lord, church of God. Praise the Lord. After that, I got their experience from the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ. I got an experience. After that, according to my experience, according to my revelation, I was spreading this gospel to the nations. I don't know anybody. I don't want it. I don't need anybody's yes, well, you know, guidance. I am getting, I was getting the their guidance and experience from the Holy Spirit. This is my testimony. Praise the Lord. Each and every people, if you are doing something for God. You should be have some testimony. You will be having some testimony. Praise the Lord in Christ Jesus. I have some, some testimony. Sister uh, Rashmi Sai having some testimony. Everybody, all the men of God and women of God, who are serving Lord, you will have some testimony. Praise the Lord. This is according to your testimony. You are preaching gospel, this real God. Praise the Lord. Because the world cannot isolate you. The world is saying, I will kill you. Like a King Daniel, the, uh, like Daniel and Sadrat Mesek Abednego. Okay, Nabat Nasser, you can kill me. Only that much. After my death, you don't know what is life. After your death, you are no more. You will not get eternal life. But after my death, I have a hope, eternal life. But if you are trying to kill me, my God can deliver me from the den of the, uh, um, the, uh, um, the lion. Praise the Lord. From the mouth of the lion. My God can be able to do it. Praise the Lord. My God can be able to deliver me from the burning fiery furnace. Praise the Lord. If not, I cannot deny my God. I know I have got an experience. I had an experience. This is a living God. But King Nebuchadnezzar, you should come to know one thing. Your God is statue. It is a statue that is not a living God. You will come back to the Lord one day through us. It has happened. Not only the king, praise the Lord. Our God has given a reason to all the nations through that king, through the Daniel, through Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. All the nations came and came and worshipped in front of the heavenly father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, our God has called you. Our God has appointed you to preach the gospel to the nations. Praise the Lord. If you are not preaching the gospel today, our God will appoint from maybe your neighbor, maybe in front of maybe your colleague, maybe they are the Gentiles. Our God will raise them up. Maybe the Muslim background, Hindu background, our God can raise them. Our God will raise them up for the nations, for the world gospel revival. Uh, before that, I want to I want to say to everybody, I want to encourage everybody. If you are born again, this is your duty. Minimum 100,000 people, minimum, minimum one lakh or two lakh people uh, need to get salvation through you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that wake up everybody, all the nations, brothers and sisters, all the ladies and gentlemen. This is your time to spread the gospel to the nations. Come out from your house and do something for God. Then our God will honor you. This is what Apostle Paul was saying. I'm not looking at any of the prosecution. I was not looking at any of the rejections, any of the isolation. Even if I was in the prison, I'm not looking at, I'm not looking at any of these things. Nobody can separate me from the love of God. Praise the Lord. Prosecution, rejections, anything cannot separate me from the love of God. I have I have got a reason to experience the presence of the Lord. In front of the presence of the Lord, what all the things you have got in this world, that is nothing. Come on, everybody. Pastor Jolly has got a little bit of experience. Comparing Apostle Paul, I'm not doing anything. Come out, everybody. Praise the Lord. Do something for God. Our God will honor you. If you are doing something for God, you will get a long life. You will get a healthy body. You will be a blessed person. Praise the Lord. Your name will become great in front of the nations. All the 700 cross people come and say, this is Pastor Charlie. And uh, they will say your name. Because you are in the child of the most powerful God in this world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody come out. We can do something a little bit for God. Praise the Lord. So that I'm going to hand it over um, this chance to um, share this uh, testimony to uh, Sister Raj Rashmi. Everybody, please raise your hand. We can pray for Sister right now. 
let all the 137 cross people receive that salvation from India. All the state to state, city to city, state to state receive the salvation because of this testimony. All the nations receive the salvation, especially all the African countries, Nigeria, South Africa, Nigeria, lots of prosecutions are happening. Um, 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 we can pray for everybody if anybody is doing any of the prosecution. Praise the Lord. Lots of African countries and uh, any of the countries, we can pray for India, Middle East and uh, Malaysia, Singapore and all the European countries, including Australia and all the nations we can Pray for the pray for the God, pray to God to get the gates in revival. Let our God touch everybody's heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that everybody, please raise your hand. We can pray one accord to the Lord um, during the time of this testimony. Let our God pour his powerful spirit to the world, to the nations. Touch everybody's heart. Wow. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, especially the people are watching online, the people are hearing this word of God. Thank you, Father. Uh, the people are unbelievers are watching this gospel message. Thank you for your touching their heart right now, Father. If they need any of the sickness, if they need to receive the healing in their body, Father God, thank you for your touching out your hand to them father because of this reason let them come back to uh, uh come back come back to and the, come back to the real god let them say you are the real god father once again more i pray for sister reshmi and everybody um, uh, sister reshmi when the time i share this testimony touch her give more anointing and power father i pray for each one of them in jesus name I pray. somebody want to shout and say amen praise the lord hallelujah Thank you very much. Okay. God bless you. Share this gospel. Okay. Powerful testimony. Sister, uh, Raj Rashmi, you are invited to share the word of uh, testimony right now. You are invited. Thank you. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And as Pastor Jolly has already introduced me, I am Raj Rashmi from India. And uh, above that, I'm the daughter of the Most High God. I always think that I am very special uh, being born as a daughter of God on this earth because without his great grand purpose, I would have been nothing. But today, if ever I'm standing in front of you all and sharing my testimony, then there was a day which was already planned before even I was born. And uh, everyone has a special relationship with special people in your life. It could be your wife, it could be your husband, your child. A special friend likewise to me i have a very very special relationship with my abba father and this special relationship started very long back very long back during my school days so if ever youths and teenagers are watching today's session i believe that this is going to be a blessing to you all on how my father has changed my life from a trash to a treasure. Likewise, I would like to tell right from the beginning of my school days, I was a very normal, normal average student, wherein I was studious, not having many friends, but yet I, I, I was very silent in my class. I always believed that I have to get good marks and I have to clear my papers and get into my secondary education. And then I have to become either a doctor or an engineer because that's what the trend was. Because anyone who did medical or engineering was called to be as the most intelligent people. And that's what even I believed. So I studied day and night during my PUC. And I said like, Lord, I have been studying day and night. I believe like I'm going to get very good marks. So I just wrote my theory and then I had my CET papers. And I used to study night three o'clock. Night uh, three o'clock in India is somewhere in the middle of the night. So it's very, very middle of the night. And I always believe that the more I study, the more marks I'm going to gain. I studied day and night, day and night, day and night, hoping that, yes, the Lord is going to bless me with a very good marks and my hard work will pay off with a very good uh, marks. So I have been studying. And to my astonishment, I was surprised to see that my scoring was not outstanding. And my CET marks were also not outstanding. I was literally in a dilemma thinking like, 
despite of so many days of hard work why couldn't i clear my exams in a very good marks everyone in my family had an expectation that she is going to become a doctor of our family because we were 11 grandchildren to our grandparents and there were engineers there were professors there were of other stream but no one was doctor so i always dreamt of becoming doctor and wanted to make my parents proud wanted to make my great grandparents proud but things weren't the, the way i thought but my mother said me she gave me an option that if ever you want to do engineering i'm going to take an education loan for you so the situation of my family was not that good at that moment it was a very very traumatic situation for my mother and father facing lots of challenges and as a couple they had lots of ups and downs and we children were sandwiched between both the parents but somehow the lord kept us under control and my mother looked after me and my sister we were only two siblings and mom had to look after her old old father and uh, she was the only daughter for her parents so mom said i will take education loan you can do the engineering i was like mom is going to take education loan for me not a big deal but why should i end up with paying off the loan after my education is that i'm called for always i believed one thing in my life and that was wherever there is will of god there is peace of mind it literally has been a blueprint in my life till date that wherever there is will of god there is peace of mind wherever there is disturbance or hindrances i always believe that there is something not according to the will of god and so i prayed and prayed and prayed i went for a simple course that was bsc uh, which was of pure science bachelor's of science well my family members started speaking my relatives started speaking we were expecting rashmi to become doctor why did she end up with this course her, we didn't expect this from her initially it was a very traumatic situation for me but i believe that god wherever there is your will i know there is my future so the day i went to enquire about the course that day itself i got the admission by god's grace i got a seat paying very 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 minimal a very minimal amount of fees and then during my bachelor's i studied the same as i studied for my puc and then after that i had to get into the masters because i was very much interested in becoming masters in mathematics so i said like lord i'm going to become a mathematics lecturer because i have got a talent of teaching i used to take tuitions and very well my students used to tell akka you teach very well akka then i was inspired by them and i said like yes i believed that teaching was a very noble profession and let me get into that so the moment i was preparing for my masters i had two options either to get into the gulbarga university or the central university of karnataka central university of karnataka was top universities which was just 25 kilometers from my place so i just had that dream that i wish i will get into this place because the people of other states were trying to get into this place there were only 32 seats i believe and there were thousands of applications the last day last hour i along with my mother we had been to the internet the cyber cafe and i still remember that lord somehow helped me to enroll my application then after that i i the day of the results were out after writing the online examinations then after that the lord asked me to go and check my results i said lord if i don't get to this i had an option of gulbarga university i am not going there because i have hopes in this university what's going to happen then immediately somewhere the hopes came and the result sheets were there it was out me my mother we had been to the same cyber cafe and then i started checking on to my scoring 
nearly 600 plus students were qualified and there were only 32 seats i started checking my results from the bottom as normal average student would do i did the same way i started checking my results from 600 600 it's not there 500s it's not there hundreds it's not there I lost hopes because I didn't expect myself to be in top 100 in those thousands of applications because I had already lost hopes. Then I said, let me check on for my friends. Then I started checking on for my friends. It was like 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, on and on and on. In the pace of 30s, I found one of my friend's name. I was like, I couldn't believe with my eyes that my friend was able to crack. I was happy for her. But somewhere in the heart of hearts, I was a bit jealous because I too wanted the seat normally anyone could feel. Then I started scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I found myself in the position of 34th ranking. Now again, it was a situation where I was too much in dilemma thinking like, God, I came this close. I don't want to lose this seat. There are 32 seats. My ranking is 34. Well, the day of counseling was near and I believe that there was a Sunday uh, before the day of counseling and I had been to the church, evening service and I said to the Lord, Lord, if ever your will is there and if ever you want me to get into this course, then Lord, help me to get this seat. And in the same church and in the same service, I will share the testimony. This is what was my prayer. I went with a lot of hopes with my mother. I still remember my mother was standing near the window. And to my surprise, everyone were present. Everyone were wanting for the seat. And there was a selection of the last girl to get into that quota. I just saw my mother near the window and she told me, dear daughter, don't lose hopes. Even a one minute prayer can be equal to one million times of prayer. And that really touched me. I said, Lord, I believe strongly that you're going to help me to get this seat. And then my name was called out and the complete seats were closed. Glory to God. Glory to God. So when I looked back, looked back and thinking, Lord, if I'm getting into this course, whether it's your will or not, but by faith I stepped in and I could see the favor of the Lord on my life. And then eventually I started working hard even in my master's as if it was like a last resort for me to settle my career. And then one day when I was reading the newspaper, suddenly a pamphlet came out of the newspaper. It just fell down on the table and I took the pamphlet and I happened to see a bank coaching course. I said like immediately the spirit within me got shook and said like, this is something you have to try. The Lord put that thought in my mind and then immediately I said, Lord, if this is your will, then let me just go and put my hand in that. Then I know definitely doors will be opened automatically if your will is there. I contacted that person, but that person said, no, no, I don't, I don't refer you to get into this coaching. I would refer you to get into coaching of some other place, which is a new institute and a new uh, a teacher who is going to coach us. Then to my astonishment, I saw there were only seven students to take the coaching. I felt somewhere this person has been cheating me because it's a new institute and the person who was teaching himself was writing a bank exam. But I said, Lord, I don't know why I'm here, but here also I'm ready to study day and night. I still remember my mother was not having uh, enough money to pay for my uh, coaching, my uh, school sisters. Sisters, I belong to a convent school. And my mother is also a teacher in a convent school. Sister of the convent gave 8,000 rupees for my mother telling like, go get your daughter admitted in that coaching class. Let her take the coaching. 
and then immediately i started taking coaching and i started studying day and night day and night day and night just like i studied for my secondary examination but this time i had belief in the lord that he's going to do something three months i studied day and night the day of examination was there i gave my performance my best the day of results were out i still remember i was in the university the friend who was shortlisted with me she got selected in a clerical post i was i was so nervous i cannot explain that lord what's going to happen i checked on to my result then i too found that i was also selected in the clerical cadre of bank exam and because our god is an amazing and awesome god to my astonishment i was not only qualified for clerical but also as an assistant manager of a bank i remember i was 21 years old and very young age to get into the post of assistant manager just eligible for banking and just getting into the post of assistant manager was the greatest blessing from my father in heaven and then i went i used to travel 90 kilometers and then in a year the lord transferred me to the place where i was staying with my mother i said thanks to the lord thanks to the lord and just after the three year service i got a post of bank manager right now aware i'm working i'm working as the bank manager it was really a very different different journey of my life because everything was led by the holy spirit everything was led under the control of the lord when i look look back when i got my results of puc and i was upset that i didn't get medical and engineering if ever i would burden my mother take the education loan and go to engineering i wouldn't have found this favor from my lord you know i would like to tell you all my brothers and sisters if ever you are in a very very low level in your life never be disappointed because when the lord takes you to a very big heights when you look back to the depth from where the lord has raised in you you will be amazed and that's how the lord has got me from nothing today to something glory to god alone and i believe that the lord is not only helping me to do the work uh, in my career faithfully but my life actually changed after me becoming bank manager i got everything what i needed but somewhere in my heart i had a feeling that lord i'm not satisfied with what is happening with me right now this is not life that i always imagine you have done so much for me what did i do for you is it that i need to cherish all of my life with the favor and the blessing that you gave but i know that you expect a bit from your daughter what is that lord open my eyes of understanding i want to see it then immediately the lord opened a door of sharing gospel in one of the churches and that to a village church wherein only 15 to 20 people were there but i shared the gospel as if there were 15 to 20000 people among those 15 to 20 members amazingly the lord has helped me to preach in canada and then after that then after that the lord started taking me to different states started taking me to different districts different churches different villages and the lord has helped me to reach out and touch the youngsters and the youths and most importantly among the girls the lord has helped me to minister and that is not all you know today after lockdown the lord had put a vision in my mind that start 3 am prayers with these girls i remember i started with three girls night 3 am prayers in indian time 3 am is exactly middle of the night and why is it that i felt important to 
pray three at three a.m. while the whole world is sleeping, while the whole world is sleeping, I wanted my first praise and my first worship and my first prayer to go to my heavenly Father even before any person from different faith could start praying. That was my wish because in Indian time, 5 a.m. normally people of different faith start putting loudspeakers with their own prayers. But I was like, I serve a living God. Why shouldn't I give my life's first praise, my day's first praise? And I started praying at 3 a.m. Amazing miracles started happening at 3 o'clock. From 3, God started increasing the girls in my group. The group girls were not only the listeners, but also the doers. Today, they are of 9th grade, 10th grade, 12th grade. Some are in degree, but I call them evangelists because they are doing the evangelism among their friends, among their family. Such a wonderful God we serve. I am nothing. But when we prepare ourselves to surrender ourselves into the hand of the Lord, He will use us because He wants a person who is hungry to carry the cross. When I was reading a book recently gifted by one of the pastors, a missionary challenge, wherein a missionary so many years back they went walking on streets. They carried the projectors. They carried the tracks. They started distributing the books with the little money they got. They used to eat. Else they used to stay hungry for three to four days. Today, the Lord has given us the food, clothing, shelter, a platform to share the gospel. But my dear brothers and sisters, this is not all. This is not all. Let us be ready to reach out and touch the people who are actually in need. Let us start right from our home. We do best service to the people around us, but we often fail to do this right from our home. Love your parents. Love your children. Teach them how to live. You want to see yourself going to the kingdom of God. Don't you want to see your loved ones getting into the heaven? or you would be responsible for every lost soul that is there. One incident I would like to share you all. When I was on my job, there was an old man who came to my workplace and said to me, Madam, my leg is hurting a lot. I'm not able to stand. I'm not able to sit. I'm suffering with my knee pain. What to do? I'm not getting. Then I shared the gospel and I said, Uncle, don't worry. Believe in Jesus. Jesus is going to heal you. And you know, he not only believed and confessed, but he, he, he took the salvation. To my astonishment, the same week on Sunday, I happened to see a status in my staff's WhatsApp telling that, rest in peace, that person's name. I was shocked for a moment. If ever I wouldn't have given the salvation for that old man, today I would be responsible for that lost soul. How many of us might have missed that opportunity of sharing gospel? But I'm well pleased that the Lord has now made that old man to get into the kingdom of God. Let's be alert. Let's be attentive. Job, career, status, Everything is temporary. When you see life in eternity, this life on earth is just like a blink of an eye. The eternity is vast. Let's love one another. Let's love our enemies. If you hate them, pray for them. Don't you want to see them saved? It's not the battle between the flesh, but it is the battle between the spirit. My spirit having battle with the evil spirit that is in that person's body. That person is God's creation and God loves that person. So we should love them. We should save them. Let's change ourselves first. I might not be of that age to share with you all, but I strongly believe that it is Holy Spirit who is helping me, through me, to reach out this beautiful message to you all. Let's take the burden. As Pastor Jolly said, 
it is written in romans chapter 8 was 35 to 39 who can separate us from the love of christ can tribulation persecution nakedness nothing can separate us because we believe we are more than conquerors through christ who loves us we are more than conquerors let us claim that authority when God created you and me, when God created Adam and Eve, what did the Lord say? Everything on this earth, you have the authority upon that. Are we claiming that authority? The ministry of Jesus in this world was wonderful. He not only was able to heal the sick, deliver the demons, likewise even Peter was able to do. Likewise, even James was able to do. You know, the greatest miracle Jesus did was raising a dead person alive. So did Peter also do. But Jesus, before leaving, what did he say to us? He said, you shall do the miracles and wonders more than me. Are we claiming that authority? Let us claim the authority of doing miracles, signs and wonders. Let us come out of our box. Let us come out of our comfort level. I'm so much joyed by meeting Pastor Jolly. I was overjoyed to see him doing street ministry because that's my dream. That's my wish. And the Lord gave me a confirmation through Pastor Jolly that this is the real ministry. Anyone can reach out and touch through social platforms. But when you get on the street without fearing about the persecution, without fearing about the people mocking, that is the real ministry. Are you ready to face that? Everyone were born like a choice. You know, nobody forced you to become a Christian. You were born in different faith. I was born as a Christian. But my parents never told like you have to do it. Unless I felt the touch of Christ. I have chose to be the child of God. And in the same way, if you are chosen as a child of God, then it is your prime duty to follow the word of God. It is your prime duty to follow his commandments. Are you doing that? Let's not be the sleeping Christians. Let's wake up and shake the nations. Let's wake up and shake the nations. Jesus died for you and me on the cross. is not a simple thing. He died with so much suffering. Today we are without guilt, without condemnation, without inferiority complex. It is because the Jesus has already taken on the cross that we are standing blameless in the sight of the Lord. Come on, my dear brothers and sisters. Let our eyes of understanding open. Everything is temporary in this world. Let's come out. Let's fear nothing. When you get the real salvation, when you get the real love of Christ, trust me, you will fear no man on this earth. No man on this earth. And about the evil spirit, I tell you, the demon was already defeated on the cross. His life is just in his tail. Do you know a story of a mother cat and a kitten? When a mother cat catches a rat, it kills half and gives to its kitten. Why does it do that? It teaches its kitten to kill that half life filled rat. In the same way, our father in heaven already defeated the demon. And today we are facing the devil which is half defeated, which is almost to die. And are we fearing that devil? We are the children of God. We have authority over things. Let's claim the authority. Let's claim the authority. I tell you all, I have been led by the Holy Spirit. Today, if ever I'm standing in, standing in front of you all and preaching, I was, I don't know who is Pastor Jolly. Pastor Jolie, you don't know me. You don't know me. This is the work of the Lord to get us connected. You know, I, I, I believe the people who are hungry, the Lord is not going to disappoint you. The Lord will open the doors for you. This level, 
you try to abide with the responsibility when you become mm. successful god is going to take you to the next level don't expect the next level to be as easy as the previous mm. level my dear brothers and sisters it's a next level challenge mm. be like a warriors be like a conquerors god is by your side and jesus loves you i am a living testimony to testify you that i lived in a house which had nothing which had nothing when mom was separated i tell you all we were just 15 to 16 years old my mother along with me my sister and grandmother came out of the house with nothing in hands but by faith she led us i tell you all the lord has not only provided me a job today i am able to reach out and touch people i am something today because of jesus who loves us jesus loves us realize that realize that my life a trash to a treasure the same way if ever you are in a testing today i tell you today god is going to change that testing into a great testimony in coming days hallelujah amen god bless you all let's close our eyes and and let's receive that holy spirit message that's trying to tell each one of us abba father we thank you for this wonderful time wonderful moment lord jesus that you have given to us lord heavenly father Lord Jesus you are amazing your name is amazing your works are amazing father god jesus lord if you could get someone from a trash to a treasure then you could get anyone anyone from zero to something lord jesus life is not all about money life is not all about having assets life is all about how many souls did we win for you cause we if ever you're coming today tonight for the question that you're going to ask i have sent you my son jesus what have you done with jesus lord help us to be prepared for the answer for the question that you're going to ask lord thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus i know father god for the people who all are watching i know that they are going to be blessed abundantly and for none you are going to send empty handed with lots of blessings and the deliverances we are going to bless them father god lord bless pastor pastor jolly father god as a team as his prayer warrior i pray for his protection i pray for his health i pray for his finances lord jesus let him reach out more and more and more and more places let him raise many evangelists through this page oh lord jesus let the revival happen to the place where he is stepping in father god shake a nation's page be blessed all the people who are supporting be blessed all the people who are not able to support but are praying be blessed in the name of jesus i thank you father god i thank you lord jesus i believe lord jesus that this testimony is only only to glorify you not for me not for the speech but only for your glorification for your kingdom sake we give you the glory honor and praise in jesus precious name we pray amen pastor jolly i would like to tell you something and to all the viewers who are watching today was actually a very very challenging day for me in my office i went to my office and yesterday was sunday and today was monday as expected it was a bit crowded in my bank and my system failed i had to go to my officer system and work on it and there came a customer who was very short tempered and then somehow i managed to handle the situation meanwhile i had parked my car outside the bank a guy from uh, he came he rode on a bike and he hit my car i was a bit disappointed thinking like god uh this wouldn't have happened because uh, i i i i gave that car as my mother's 50th birthday gift so i loved that car a lot so this happened but the lord taught me one thing let's not be materialistic yes even if the car accident take place god will not let a stone strike our foot 
and i had a very challenging time while i was driving back to my home i received a call from my head office that the customer who had quarreled with me had complained in the head office against me not one not two there were nearly five complaints he filed against me and the head office people told me that you'll be receiving a mail uh, of warning and i said in a cool mind that yes i'm ready i'm ready you just send me the mail and then i came home unexpectedly i got fever and i was not able to have my dinner and my throat started choking i got to know that something amazing is going to happen tonight and this all disturbances were from the devil and i disappointed devil because morning as soon as i got into my bag i was able to give a bible hindi bible to a different faith lady and that's where the work of the devil started but wherever there is challenges it's a message for everyone because it's a new learning for me in my life too wherever there is challenge from the devil believe that some supernatural thing is going to happen and so did it happen i believe that you all are blessed with a testimony that i have shared and god bless you pastor jolly thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to share my testimony god bless you and your team praise the lord another 10 minutes time we are going to cross it okay this is a th- same thing okay the devil attack thank you very much you see um uh, thank you for the powerful testimony when we are depending god praise the lord our god will never leave you nor forsake you so sir from bangalore i i did my mba in bangalore okay i did my mba and um, uh, uh, computer and everything post graduate i did in bangalore praise the lord so uh, so when at that time i am i don't know jesus christ okay but i had faith in god praise the lord i born again 2013 and um, my all the back home family members are not born again by please only me only okay i stand for the faith praise our god will give a reason when you are in jesus praise the lord i want to say every day your life will be a miracle praise the lord <laughs> see how pastor john is rejoicing every day praise the lord. you don't know that one <laughs> everybody is asking that one. now lots of nations are because of this testimony everybody lots of people are getting an encouragement praise the lord this jesus christ is not a statue praise the lord each and every day if you are putting one step for god praise the lord this is a duty of the lord to take you out from your persecutions praise the lord hallelujah when you are thinking or your company or getting say the get out praise the lord maybe you are some any of the workplace is saying or uh, giving any of the notice against you that will be the because why it is happening devil is always making the problem but god is always making you in favor of you that means your god's name will be glorifying in front of your god praise the lord this is what our god is doing always praise the lord or our god will plant you in a better position than the current position we have to think it out accordingly the children of god will never go down wherever you are always we have we will be happy the growth praise the lord that's what i pray we are the seed of abraham praise the lord even though we don't have unit we don't have anything nothing to worry praise the lord we have to go for when i was in bangalore i was not have even oh, uh, you know the my family is uh, always i don't have money okay even uh, sometimes i was not having money to have the food to praise the lord hallelujah so that uh, now um, after that i could do the business in bangalore praise the lord uh, most of the places Uh, I go to the uh, in the Madipal Hospital as my client. Praise the Lord, Apollo Hospital. It was my client, and I'm carrying to Superman. Lots of client I have. Okay, and uh, uh, Superman Fat Man. Lots of client I have. Okay, I was the uh, I was running on company only. Praise the Lord. In the same places. Okay, where I has I was having I was not having the money to have the food in you know, one time. Praise the Lord. After the five years later, our God has given the employees. Praise the Lord. I was the director of the company. I was running a company. Pray for after my study. So uh, now I could I could reach here. So I want to say our God will never leave you. Sister, testimony. Okay, the people are serving Lord. You are serving not the simple God. He is a powerful God. That is what our God said to Abraham. Oh, Abraham, I am the God. I am the God Almighty. I am the. I am not a normal Lord. I am the Lord Almighty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Peter, he was walking over the sea. 
when the time of the when he look at the wind, heavy wind and everything, it was coming against him. Then he was saying to Lord, right? What is the meaning of Lord? He was heavy. He was well experienced a person. Um, he was he know how to swim and everything. He he knows very well how to come out from the sea. When the time of after the death of Jesus Christ in the Tiberius, praise the Lord. When Jesus Christ was there in the seashore, he was swimming very well. Praise the Lord, Galilee. But that when the time of he was walking over the over the sea, he was not looking at his effort, his ability. He was looking at God. Oh Lord, praise the Lord. I am giving my lordship to you. You know you have the supreme authority to take care of me today. I, I will not get perish. Praise the Lord, because our God is having a supreme authority over you if you are the child of God. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. This is the most powerful position we are sitting in this world. We are the child of God. King's position is nothing. They will get perished. Praise the Lord. Prime Minister post is nothing. They, that is something, but it, it is not comparing our position. That is nothing. According to the Bible, Pastor Jory can say. Praise the Lord. We are standing. So we are the king of kings. We are the king standing in this world, living in this world. Prime Minister and President, they are executing something um, in, in that country, but our position is greater than them. Praise the Lord. Uh, we have got authority in our tongue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what the angels is not permitted to use the name of Jesus Christ. The angels are not permitted to spread the salvation to anybody. Praise the Lord. You know what is the power of the angel? Within a fraction of a second, one angel can destroy, can kill even 100,000, one night, like two nights. Um, that's what it is. Praise the Lord. These angels are waiting for your talk, your word to make a prepare for you. Praise the Lord. Wherever you are going, these angels are ready to make a way for you. Such a powerful person you are. You are Pastor Jolie and you are. You are the born again person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your life is not at all waste today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a miracle testimony. Sister was said, Sister Rashmi was said, this is a miracle testimony. Praise the Lord. That is what? Uh, this is a God connection. God gave the connection that one. Thank you. So all the people, maybe you are the point of the death. You start to pray only one thing to get something from the Lord. We have to praise the God. Thanks to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't say always, God, I need, I need, I need. God knows, dear friends, what you need. God knows your heart. Why do you want to give thanks to the Lord? We have to give our prayer and everything with um, in the package of the thanks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to make a package. Praise the Lord. Not box, big box. In that, we have to, um, the, the, all these books, we have to um, the, fill with the thanks, giving to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Then you have to give to the Lord. Jesus Christ, then Jesus Christ will be, will be handing out to the Heavenly Father. He is a mediator. When we are giving thanks, he knows everything. That is what Apostle Paul and Silas did when he was in the prison. Gave the thanks to the Lord. They didn't complain. I am the person I want to come out. No, God knows what he wants to supposed to do to him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the heaven, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, the angels are saying, thanks, you are holy, 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 holy. When the Apostle Paul and Silas, from his pain, when, gave, when they gave the thanks, our God was looking at to the person. Immediately, all the persons, you know that one, the, the foundation, the, there was a great earthquake happened. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If our God is looking at you, situations are nothing. Praise the Lord. Your situations are nothing. Pastor Jolie is saying, according to my experience, I'm saying by miracle. I'm, every day I'm walking by miracle. Even such a resume, no, you are walking by miracle. Praise the Lord. If people are walking by miracle, then only we can say, what is our God? Praise the Lord. This God can deliver you wherever you are. Praise the Lord. Pastor Jolie is wearing a nice dress, right? colorful dress. I'm sorry, it is not praise the Lord. See, they don't look at any, anybody, don't look at the dress, dress. I want to wear whatever I want, but we have to serve our Lord very, uh, the 100%. Okay, little bit you have to serve. Today, if I if I am not preaching, uh, if I am not preaching the gospel in the street, so um, I'm something I have lost uh, from my um, heart. Praise the Lord. This is what. If I'm preaching the gospel in the street, I'm so much rejoicing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what you are. I'm not looking at anybody. Most of the three streets, I'm, I was alone. I am alone going. I'm getting new friends, new colleagues. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, this is what is going to happen. Praise the Lord. So that all the nations do something for God, wherever you are. 
does it matter either state preaching or whatever if you can do you do it i don't know according to the country law where you are living you do something for god track distribution take your phone you have the phone okay give a call to somebody your friends this jesus christ is a living god say your testimony something little bit less rest of the thing our god will do it praise the lord hallelujah this is what you have to do it if you can do something greater things do something greater things start with little bit thing you can start with uh, the normal things okay then our god uh, will uh, make your name great only one thing i want to say to all the people okay i'm going to close two or five minute time and not continue this session much more praise the lord only i, I want to say um um bible says first john chapter 3 verses 1 says behold what manner of love um is the father has bestowed on us that we should be called children of god therefore we oh, the world the world does not know us because it did not know him praise the lord that is uh, we are the children of god children of the most powerful god in this world praise the lord hallelujah again bible says verses 2 says um, Uh, beloved now we are the children of god and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be but we know that when he is revealed we shall like him this is our hope in god praise the lord we will be like jesus christ praise the lord so everybody we all the born again people you should have a hope whatever you are saying our god is ready to give the people are thinking you are if you, you are not getting you are not praying to god praise the lord you are praying uh, my baby 30 minutes 20 minutes how many hours you are getting it praise the lord hallelujah jesus christ in their night jesus christ was praying to the lord praise the lord after that in the mountain after that jesus christ came down after that jesus christ was doing is a miracle praise the lord lazar came out from the tomb praise the lord from five loaves and two fish jesus christ multiplied is the food when he was after his prayer praise the lord he was a god even if he was a god he was praying to the heavenly father praise the lord hallelujah if jesus christ was praying how much more we have to pray spend with the time then your all the situation will get changed praise the lord now lots of people send your prayer request you do you and your father is um, you know that one in the hospital mother is a hospital you need pastor jolly cannot give money nobody can give money praise the lord hallelujah only we can pray because of this prayer they can come out from the um the hospital praise the lord hallelujah this is my hope in god praise the lord hallelujah you can see that one all the not only fast jolly if anybody is praying you can see that one uh, this is this should be your hope that prayer is so powerful pray our god will change your life today at least few people are coming to know sister reshmi that means she has called a gospel in her hand praise the lord hallelujah who are is holding the gospel in your hand your name will not put a chain praise the lord you will be the nations will come to know you are the child of the most powerful god in this world because this is a duty of the lord to witness that when you are holding the bible in front of everybody praise the lord hallelujah so all the nations praise the lord do something for god the if you are holding the bible in your hand your name will not put a shame over god day by day you will get flourish your entire area will get flourish praise the lord hallelujah situations are nothing circumstances are nothing the nations will come and wait for you praise the lord hallelujah i want to say according the gospel i want to say today to all the people today the work which you are doing for god praise the lord you are making a bank balance uh you know that in your life praise the lord hallelujah before the end of your death you can see the hundred folds in this world the blessings and blessings praise the lord our god will bless not only for you your children will be getting the blessing through your efforts praise the lord hallelujah they will be a well known person in christ jesus they will be a well known educated people in christ jesus they will be sitting a great position in this world praise the lord hallelujah i'm saying according to the gospel so that all the ladies and gentlemen this is a end time salvation praise the lord hallelujah your life is not at all you don't know tomorrow how many of the people are leaving tomorrow praise the lord we don't know anything but i will live we have the hope in god if jesus christ is not coming tomorrow pastor jolly will live all the brothers and sisters will live all the born again people you will have a hope i will live we will get a long life praise the lord this is our hope in god so all the ladies and gentlemen so that this jesus christ will never leave you nor forsake you praise the lord hallelujah the work which you are doing for god okay that is not at all waste the world will reject you 
Praise the Lord. World will reject Pastor Jolly. Praise the Lord. Pastor Jolly's iPad got broken in the streets. Praise the matter. That iPad got broken. Um, you know, that when that person came to know Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Lots of Muslim people born again. Right? Even Sister Rashmi too. When you are saying, well, you gave the Hindu Bible and the Bible to Hindi Bible to somebody. When you are start, start to give something, the devil will uh, play drama. You know that one. After when I was preaching yesterday, Coventry. I did my online church service on a Sunday. Praise the Lord. Sunday during the church, during the time of church service, I want to sleep, go to bed. I was getting that much a situation. Praise the Lord. Then immediately I start to pray to the Lord. Then that uh, you know that one, uh, um, uh, my sleeping, all the things is went out, is gone from my mind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, that that situation happened in that area. That means uh, I prayed a lot in that Coventry. Uh, our God will deliver a great send a great revival. So that if you are the child of God, praise Lord, start to pray. That is only one thing. Okay. You don't need to pray. Only five minutes start. Five or ten or twenty minutes. That's enough. Our God will lead you. You will be a victorious person in the entire area of your life. You are thinking you don't have money. You will get it. You don't know how to get it. Praise Pastor Jolie cannot give. Praise the Lord. I know. Even I don't have in UK also. When I was in the point of the death, I was not having the money to have the food to do. Today, Pastor Joel is preaching the gospel according to my prosperity. Praise the Lord. I will say my testimony one day. Praise the Lord. 100 and 100 people can receive the salvation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am preaching the gospel. This is a powerful gospel I am preaching. This God is a living God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what I am spreading this gospel to everyone. Praise the Lord. So all the ladies and gentlemen, join with us wherever you are. Nothing to worry. Praise the Lord. Stand by yourself and preach the gospel. Our God will be a witness for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that we can pray. Let all the souls, um, you know, that all the nations come back to, come to know this Jesus Christ is a powerful Lord, living God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that your faith, you should not be changed. Praise the Lord. Day by day, hear the gospel message and, uh, and, you, and uh, um, uh, then our Holy Spirit will give you the faith in your heart. You can increase your faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another thing I want to say, if you are the born again person, your life will not be based in Christ Jesus. So day by day, you will get fresh. You don't know how it is like that. But the, you, every day, your life will be a miracle. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God will destroy your enemies. You will be a victorious person. Raise your hand. I want to pray for you right now. Praise the Lord. The final prayer. Healing will happen. Deliverance will happen. Praise the Lord. And uh, people are in sitting in the wheelchair. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They will go. You are going to get up from your wheelchair right now. Praise the Lord. And the people are in the bay laying down in the bed. Praise the Lord. You are going to jump right now before, before we finish this prayer. Praise the Lord. The people are having the hearing problem. You are going to hear this. Uh, very well. The people are having the short sight, cannot see the eyes. You are going to get a clear vision right now. Not in Father Jolie's name, not in Sister Resmi's name, but in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is going to happen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. Raise your hand. The people are watching from UK, Europe, African countries, North and South America, and Asian countries. Pray for, uh, raise your hand. We are praying for you right now. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, especially the people are watching on the people are hearing the word of God. Father God, Father God, touch their heart right now, Father. Father God, the people are hearing this word of God. Father, people are sitting in the wheelchair. Let them receive all their bonds, angle bonds, Father, feet and waist and everything. Receive the strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I declare the healing. This is what you said. By your stripes, we are healed. This is a reality. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, according to your word of God, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 says, Go and preach the gospel. I pray for the sick and they will receive the healing. Heal the sick people. In Jesus' name, according to your word, I declare the healing right now. The people are sitting in the wheelchair. Try to move your hand right now. Try to move your feet. Praise the Lord. I'm saying, try to move your feet. Please raise up your feet. If you are not raising up, you cannot see another thing. Faith in action. Faith in action. That's what I saw the Apostle chapter 3. And uh, after, you know, the Apostle Peter, Peter and John, after praying, they were giving their hand, faith in action, to, um, you know, the, uh, make that, uh, that crippled man to stand. Praise the Lord. Just stand up right now. Uh, you know, move your feet right now, up and down. Move your feet. Then after that, um, you think it over in your mind. I can, I can stand up. Now you slowly stand up. You stand up right now. In Jesus' name, stand. 
something happened okay something happened miracle happened right now the people are laying down on the bed right now in jesus name lift up your feet go down lift up your feet slowly go down right now lift up your um, um, hand right now in jesus name then put down in jesus name wake up right now in jesus name. in jesus name. the people are the um, uh, the helping that person please help them to uh, uh, sit in the cot praise the lord hallelujah you are going to receive the healing right now in jesus name praise the lord and also pray for the people are having the hearing problem in jesus name can you are you can i say to uh, lay your hand on your ear right now where you cannot able to hear in jesus name praise the lord god pray in jesus name shata takala tu rata shita ta open right now hear ear open right now in jesus name praise the lord hallelujah you are going to receive the hearing problem is already um is a uh, it's a disappeared right now you can hear very well and also people are having the short sight right now put your hand on your eyes right now where you cannot see praise the lord i'm going to pray for you heavenly father i pray for the people are having the short sight right now father people cannot see the eyes in jesus name i declare the healing right now open the eyes right now praise the lord hallelujah in jesus name i pray open your eyes you can see close it you can open it close it in jesus name i declare that healing it happened okay it, it happened already healing happened okay the people are having various kind of sickness in jesus name i declare the healing in jesus name amen god bless you and also pray for all the people are doing the ministry work heavenly father i pray for them right now father receive the miracle maybe let uh, the people are doing the work um, the, wherever they are let them receive the multiplication of this mark for work father especially the ministry level let them receive the um, uh, more souls in their ministry father let them receive more power and anointing from the holy spirit and also pray for all the shake the national team members father all the shake the nations ministers father i bless each one of them and also especially the people are supporting our ministry by seed i bless some father pastor frank pastor frank and um, apostle mark and everybody those are supporting uh, uh, anthony arch father pastor anthony archwill uh, lots of people pastor christopher and everybody father those are supporting our ministry i bless some father those are supporting your tv ministry i bless some father father god uh, thank you for everything and also pray for sister reshmi and everybody those are joined here those are going to join in this fight on i bless each one of them once again more i pray for the city where i am today from birmingham let this more souls let the grace to revival start from this north uk from this birmingham coventry from all the north uk in jesus name pray. somebody one shot and see amen amen prayer is powerful okay lot of healing happen praise the lord hallelujah and also lots of people send your prayer request and we have already prayed for you you are also included in that one okay the people are went for the tumor and um, uh, radiation okay this everything oh where is can say informative i pray. i already paid it has happened okay. billy it is already happened praise the lord your heart block and everything is disappeared right now praise the lord and um, our god will um, already healed you thank you very much Uh, god bless you everybody okay god bless you so see you tomorrow i'm taking the malayalam uh, god, bible uh, message at uh, uh, 4 pm tomorrow at 6 pm there will be a no, uh, normal no stop gospel revival praise the lord so god bless you thank you very much praise the lord thank you uh live stream me first uh, now it's just stop um let's stay me but thank you uh, sister rashmi now facebook we have disconnected from the facebook okay now we are only the zoom okay so lots of people watched okay lots of people watched it was a uh, uh facebook we have disconnected okay social media we have disconnected and now it's lots of people watched okay i don't know how many people are watched okay more than 1000 uh, more than 1000 to 1000 people watched okay lots of countries have joined okay powerful message okay joy with us okay we can do greatest things for god okay that mm-hmm. i am so so much proud in you praise lord support us join with us we can go together even i don't know what to do tomorrow okay even, really i don't know I, even i don't know the bible proper to be frank i'm telling you saying okay i don't know the bible proper <laughs> when i'm reading little bit god is teaching me okay what i was reading and i was uh, and that i will go and preach in the street what i will that i will do it okay when i am preaching i don't know what to preach when i am preaching the spirit of god is giving the words in my tongue 
right? So this is what is going to happen, okay? Not every day. And thank you very much. How Holy Spirit leads, we can go together. I'll send a message, okay? Pray to God, praise the Lord. We can execute accordingly, okay? God bless you, all your family, all your mom and dad, and everybody, okay? In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, okay? God bless you. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you. God bless you too. Bye-bye. Good night, Pastor.